Is your body back here in this woods? Laura, are you back there? You're not leading me to my death, are you? Oh. Back here. She's screaming. Yell for me and I'll come find you. She's yelling. Laura, I can hear you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm back in the woods. You're in I, the woods? I said, Laura, give me a sign. And there's a girl screaming. You're not in the woods, are you? There's a girl screaming. Dude, no, you're not in the woods. There ain't no way. I'm gonna tell you this, things were much more calm before you came. How's that? When you guys left, I mean, it really went crazy. I wouldn't even stay here. I would not stay here. I just wouldn't stay here. No way. I don't know, something was pissed off. Definitely more aggressive than it had ever been. You know what I mean? We took that mirror out of the basement. That was a whole experience in itself. I mean, it was just, it was real. It was real. To witness that, like you cannot, deny I will never be able to deny the other side you know I saw what happened that day and it was definitely an experience definitely we seal this basement with the sign of the cross Still. and the blood of Jesus Christ the mirror was looking at me, you know, I was going down those stairs and I just felt it looking at me and I told him, I said, man, let's get this mirror out of here, you know? He said, let's go. We prayed over the mirror, we prayed through the house. We were talking about maybe, you know, maybe the mirror being a portal. So I Googled, how can you tell if a mirror is being used as a portal or whatever? And he told me to try the finger test and there was, and you know, there was a huge gap between my finger and the reflection of my finger. You know, if you came through this mirror, you use this mirror as a portal, we're gonna give you like five minutes and then this mirror's gone. So we went outside and let them, it, whatever it was, a few minutes to uh, decide what it wanted to do. And when we said, you know, time's up, it's gone. And we started to come back in the house to uh, take the mirror down. Like you could just, we heard, like thunder coming down the stairs and then it was just like one loud super loud like door slam up here it was crazy i mean really it was you know i didn't i wasn't sure wasn't expecting you know when we said time's up you know what i mean for just like something left with that mirror no doubt about it and we took the mirror outside you know after we got it down there was more crosses on that mirror. Like just little crosses, just, you know, like somebody would stencil in with their finger or whatever. I don't mean just a few here and there. I mean, they were everywhere. Hundreds of them probably. And some of them looked like they were drawn on the reflection side of the mirror. You know what I mean? Something was wrong with that mirror. Something was definitely wrong with that mirror. But there's been, I wanna say like there's been one spirit left here. Laura, that's who I think it is. I don't know who she is or what's going on. I don't know if those other spirits are chasing her, whatever, but.
They want to know who you are and what you want. Talk with me. I am talking to you. Don't leave. I have to leave at some point. Don't go there. How did you die? Sad. Murdered. Sad. Murdered. Who murdered you? Richard. Richard. How did Richard murder you? Below. Mirror. Mirror. The Laura. Thing, Laura. I feel like it said Laura before. I just noticed it right away. I turned the lights on. There they were. There was footprints. Like it went over, walked over to the closet. You could see it shuffles. You know, I mean, where it shuffled, like looking in the closet or whatever. And it walked away from the closet, like towards the center of the room, and they were gone. That was that. They were small. I went over, took my shoes and socks off, and you know, put my foot next to it, and I would say it was a woman's or a child's foot. No question. No doubt about it. There's always been something here. You know what I mean? She said that. uh as far as she knew, I guess, there was a car accident on the old 43 that ran like through the front yard here. And uh, I guess it was in the 60s or whatever. Car accident, somebody died. Because there's been shit happen. I lost a pair of my sunglasses, like my good Ray-Bans. If you've seen my sunglasses, you know, can you uh, kind of point me in the right direction or, you know, show me where they're at? I swear to God to you, I left that day, came home that night. They're sitting right there where you're sitting at right now. That's where I sit at every day. And those sunglasses were sitting right there where your ass is right now. I guarantee you they weren't there the day I, you know, went through this house. They, they weren't there. <laughs> I know they weren't there. But they were when I came home. That's not residual. You know what I mean? That's intelligent. What if it's talking about the homeowner, Josh, and not Josh? I was thinking, damn, I hope it ain't talking about me like that. Josh. Man, Wayne just said Josh. Bastard. Leave here. Die. Right here. I just said Josh. No, I just said died. Who died? Laura. Just since I've contacted you again recently, just like those same unsettling feelings that I had before you guys came the first time, like there was some some negative shit showing back up. You know what I mean? You told me don't talk to it, just ignore it. And I tried that, but it like, it wasn't having it. Like before you guys came, I never talked to it. You know what I mean? After you guys came and I, I confirmed that there's and shit, I saw it. Like then it was like, yeah, you know I'm here. You know what I mean? You're going to talk to me. But even on the video, it kept saying, talk to me, talk to me. Scared. Murdered. I am in pain. Talk to me. Murdered. Hell. Dark. Lady. Mirror. You haven't set the alarms off down here in a while. Be quiet. I moved out when I was 18 and we moved in here probably when I was eighth grade in school. I was very uncomfortable with the basement. I always felt like somebody was down there. And my twin sister was always scared of the laundry room. She felt like she wasn't alone in there. It was, it was scary, but there's a lot of the original stuff that is still here. Wood in the bedroom that was there, that was my brother's room. Fireplace. The doors, the upstairs, it's all basically the same. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting to come back in here. I've always wanted to come back in here. It just seems smaller than it was back then, because I guess we had our couch going that way. It's just something's got to be disturbed in this house. Or is there something here that's been left here? In the basement, was that mirror down there when you guys lived here? Or? Yes. Makes you wonder. I'm thinking that mirror was downstairs when we were here. Where is the mirror? We destroyed it. 
but it, 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 there was just something creepy about that down there. I was scared to death of it. I just I, felt like somebody was back there watching. It makes me wonder, is somebody buried in this house somewhere? Yeah, that was exactly the way it was. All the doors are the same. Brings back memories, huh? Oh, yeah. Just as I remember it. A lot of it's the same, but, we, you know, it had drywall. Right. So definitely this room back here, we were getting stuff. You said this was your mom and dad's room? Yes. Those are the same windows, too. Josh had actually came in here after our investigation, and there were barefoot footprints through the dust straight to that closet. So which area creeped you out? Back here. Seems like it was there was more here back then. And that's where I was petrified. See, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Maybe because it's, I don't know. Man, I've got chills. It was right back in here. I always thought somebody was watching me. Something keeps drawing my attention back to that corner. Something keeps drawing me, like, my attention to this area. Are you down in the basement with us right now? It's not like a voice. I just felt like somebody was back here. The mirror was up against, I mean, you know where that was at. Yeah, right above here. So what do you think about the mirror being smashed and taken out of the house? Kind of weird, kind of creepy. I don't know if it should have been left alone or, but if they felt better, maybe it was a good choice. But then my sister was always scared of that laundry room or under, underneath the stairs. So 45 years ago, you lived in this house. Yes. And you guys were having the same. Yes, my twin fears sister. That we were having, you know, 45 years later without ever meeting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was petrified of this. See, I'm getting goosebumps again in here. When you walk into this area? Yes. Sure do. Same feeling you got when you were a kid? There's something in here. It's this <laughs> something in here. But when I come through here, I feel I get chills. Did you ever think you'd be standing back in this basement again? No. <laughs> I've always wanted to, though. When it was up for sale, I thought, oh, try to go in and look at it. That was the part that I was always scared of when I came down. I always felt like somebody was back there watching me. I mean, some things are changed, but some things, it's still the same. You can't really get back in there, can you? Okay, so we're back in Josh's house. Half of the investigation, he started to have things happening inside the house. They went down to the basement, took the mirror out, smashed the mirror. You know, if the spirits used that as a portal to get back and forth, if they would have been trapped here after that. Okay, we're back in here. If it's the same spirit, my name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We came back to see if you're still inside this house. If there's anyone in here with us, can you give us a sign to let us know you're here? Is that that one or? What's that one? It's the SB7, ain't it? My name's Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We came back to see if you're still inside this house. If there's anyone in here with us, Josh, can you give us a sign to let us know you're here? Over by them steps at the basement. I just heard walking. 
Are you over here? Scratching? Yeah. Right Back before the alarm. You. Right before the alarm went off. Yep. Are you circling this area? There's something. It was back there. Yeah, that's why I said it's back here. It sounded like it ran down the steps or something. You shut the lights off in the basement. Yep. Right? Everything shut off. Are you walking around the house right now? I thought I heard a moan. Yeah. And this is the room. After our investigation, he had came back here, and there were footprints. Where are behind me? Holy shit. That one's oh, going on. Where are you at? It's setting every f***ing alarm off in here. Show yourself. You set the one off in the, his room? He has set it off. Thank you. Oh, wow. So do you stay in there? Turn it on if you stay in there. Did you hear that? Yeah. No. It stays in there. That sounded like from the basement, though. Are you down in the basement? Did you hear something rattling, Josh? Uh-uh. Did you just rattle something? If you rattled something, can you turn that back on? That is crazy. Holy, Holy crap, the one in here in the... How you turn... This is crazy, man. It's turning on both these alarms. I remember last time we got the name Laura. That was talking about murder. And then Richard. Where'd you go? I got a device that you can talk to us through. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Let's focus on that girl and see if she was murdered and has a message. Because we can go off Laura. the information. Yeah, the information we have from the first investigation. Laura, did you die here or around here? There was a car accident. Was you in there? Okay, shut that off, please. I need you to talk to me through this device. Greetings. Well, hello. Walking right above yeah. us. Yeah. I was trying to go to the upstairs. That was freaking loud. Very. Buried. Buried. Where are you buried? Are you buried in the basement? Are you buried on this property? Every time it set the alarm off, it was giving like yes answers. If you're buried on this property, set the alarm off again. Oh. Behind you. That was a loud bang behind Rocky and then it said behind you. Behind you. Oh. oh behind you. That was a loud bang behind Rocky and then it said behind you. I know something moved over here. Laura, come out here and talk to us. We can't hurt you, but we can deliver a message if you have one, if somebody hurts you. Stay. Stay. Laura, was them your footprints where Josh is standing? Whose footprints was them? Holy shit. Laura, if you're with me, if I point this way, is your body that way? Yes or no? Whoa. Holy shit. I heard you. 
So your body's not that way? Is your body where the whole bridge was? It's back in here. Okay, I'm not going to keep chasing you. What's that on top of the ship? You see that? Is that the iron lights? Or it was something off the right on that back wall. It was lighting up, moving back and forth. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs. Is that okay? Okay, we're coming upstairs. Closer. Closer. And every know, time I've gotten over this way, well, let's go upstairs. I'm leaving. Where are you going? You don't want me upstairs? But you don't walking, have to walking, leave. Walking, walking. Where? Upstairs. Oh my god, what the f was that? What? What'd you see? Did you hear that f***ing bang? Some oh. f***ing bang. Okay, come on. Are you up here? Ouch! Hey, Sean. Oh you okay? Sean down! Didn't see that one. What is your name? My name's Sean. Did you see me hurt myself? This is Laura. Are you by your woods. woods? Is there a demon in here? Had a ball of light here. Or went right by me. Really? Did you see Whoa. that ball of light over there? Yeah. It's over there in the corner. It's like it moved from corner to corner. If you want us downstairs, do something really loud. Set my alarm off. What do you think about if we bring Josh in here later? Huh. What a thug. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let me get a lot more down there. It's hotter than shit up here. Bad thing about summertime, shutting the AC off, place gets hotter than shit. If you're back in that hallway, can you say something for me, please, so I can hear you? Do you hear that? Yeah. It almost sounded like something. A male voice said water. Laura, we're trying to figure out what happened to you. Did somebody hurt you? Laura, we're trying to figure out what happened to you. Did somebody hurt you? It does sound like it said yes. Like a girl. See, that's what's crazy is the last 10 minutes or so, alarms haven't been going off. But remember what it said on the ghost team? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Whoever was in this house, can you please communicate with us? Okay, well, you guys go down and watch the DVR, and then I'll sit up here. And... Okay, it's just me and you in here right now. Like I said, my name's Josh. We were here last time, if you're the same spirit, to communicate with you. Were you attached to the mirror? Did you use the mirror to go back and forth? If you use the mirror, set one of my alarms off for yes. Was that mirror a portal? Laura, did somebody hurt you? Thank you. Are you on this property somewhere? Earlier it said woods. Are you back in the woods?
Are you back inside the house? I've got a device here. If you try talking, maybe I can hear you. Why did you say woods? It sounds like something outside. Sound like something outside that window. Like tapping on the window. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello. I can hear you. Are you tapping on the window? Why are you laughing for? There is a creepy ass woods outside. Walk. Where do you want me to walk to? He's something, He's something man. Dead woman. Okay, so there's this woods right out here. There's like this big swamp pond area back here. What the hell is that? Where the hell is Josh at? Laura, was this the woods? Sure. Sure. Laura, are you back there? I cannot see shit back here. <gasps> Was that? Did you see that? It looked like a black mass. It shot right into us. If you're down here, can you make it away? Okay, this is fucking creepy. Laura, is your body back here in this woods? You're not leading me to my death, are you? Can you show yourself? Is on the third floor, and I keep her walking above us. I hear Josh. Sometimes it's easier being in a creepy ass house than back in a creepy ass woods.
that I want to get to the bottom of. Laura, if you can hear me, say yes. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. I swear to God, I just heard a girl scream. <gasps> Back here, she's screaming. No fing way. The shit is so thick. Laura! Yell for me and I'll come find you. <gasps> She's yelling. Dude, this is so f***ing thick. I hope you guys can see this. Laura, I can hear you. Can you show yourself? Hello? Can you come down here and knock on something? I gotta call Sean. Hey Siri, call Sean. I don't see a Sean in your contacts. Oh shit. Who would you like to call? Never mind. Hey. Yeah. I'm back in the woods. You're in the woods? I said, Laura, give me a sign. And there's a girl screaming. You're not in the woods, are you? There's a girl screaming. Dude, no, you're not in the woods. There ain't no way. There's something running up. Yes. There. There's shit in here running up and down the freaking steps and voices. No. We, we heard you talking. I heard you. No, I'm back in the woods. There ain't no way. Right, come back here. Hurry, there's a girl screaming. We're coming out, dude. I'm not you gonna stay in here? Okay, Rocky's gonna stay in here. Where you at? I'm I'm bet, just come back to the woods. <laughs> hurry up, there's a girl screaming. Okay, hurry, we're coming. There's a girl screaming out there. <gasps> right there. Dude, there ain't no way. That's crazy because it sounds just like Josh. Up it was his freaking voice. Do you need me to come back further? <gasps> no fucking way. Back further. She yelled back further. But I can't freaking see anything. No, you're good. Keep coming. Here. Yeah. She keeps answering me. I think she's back towards that big body of water. Ain't there a big pond back there? Okay. Laura, which way do we need to go? What were you guys getting in there? We you heard you. Out? No, I've been out of the house for a while. It was your f***ing voice. I could have swore you was up in the attic. I'm not lying, it was your voice. In the attic. Nope. And we heard walking and everything. We had a big bang while we was down in the basement. I mean, it was right behind us. Laura, where you at? 
I think she's keeping trying to lead us back that way. A long time ago. Long time ago what? You died? This is creeper than being inside of a house. And somebody's gotta go back up the house. We ain't couldn't lock the door. Lock it. No! It said lock it! No f way. You gotta Rocky, you wanna go back? No. Let's just keep pushing forward for right now. Chris. Chris. Who's Chris? I have no idea. <laughs> but I like it. Was Chris with you when you died or did Chris kill you? Book. Choke. Choked. You, did Chris choke you, Laura? My baby. We need to go back to the house. Do something. Get me out of this woods so I'll go back to the house. Laura, can you yell for us again? Laura, am I getting close? What the f Josh! What? Just let him go. Something just hit a tree. I mean, it was like a big stump. Okay, well, you told me to go back to the house. Josh, going back to knock. Dirty. Knock. Okay, I'm going to head back inside the house. Oh, Rocky and Sean's out in the woods. I'm telling you, hopefully my audio will pick that girl up screaming. It is so hot, there's no way a girl would be in that woods right now. I'm coming in. Backward. Backward. There's a screaming. Yep. Can you hit something again? Lori, Josh safe. Are you in here? Hello? I'm alone. Rocky and Sean said they heard you. Okay, let's go back to the house. I want to get it. Let's figure out how we lock that. And then we're going back. We're coming back. Hello? Hey, come on back out here to the van. Okay. I'm going to get those coats and we got to go in that woods farther, dude. Okay? Okay. Okay. But the shit that we was getting in here, and we thought you was upstairs in the attic. Lauren. And, dude, we heard your voice. No, I said, are you out in the woods? The alarm goes off. And I heard somebody tapping on this window. Right here. You didn't go upstairs? No. I went straight outside. I wasn't in here very long. He's actually upstairs talking. Your no. voice. Your voice. I never went back. I never <laughs> went upstairs. It was you asking questions to the spirits. Yeah. And then it was like it was replying or something. And I went out to the woods and I started hearing a girl like screaming. Oh, yeah, we heard it too. Yeah, after the knock, it said knock. It said howls. My baby, why choked, Chris, locked book, woods. See? I think that's why he's it was like knocking on the, it was like knocking on the door or something. Yeah. Shut that alarm off. Well, I mean, me and you will go outside for a minute, just leave Rocky in here. 
Okay, so right now Rocky's inside the house. Sean and I are back here in the woods where we keep hearing the girls scream. You know, as thick as this woods is, as hot as it is out here, nobody's gonna be freaking out here. That scared me. You what? That scared me. I know. Whoa, did you hear that? What the is that? It's getting closer. Female voice. Laura, can we hear you again? Who's in here? What do you say here? Hey, I'm listening. What do you got to say? Laura, yell for us again. I can't find your body if it's in here. Are you looking for your baby? Yes, or I think so. Ask. Keep going back. Am I getting close? Laura. <gasps> Shit. What the f was that? But this one, she was talking on the ghost tomb. <gasps> what the f was that? That was right behind you. Laura, please tell me that's you. Hear it? Yeah, keep going back. It's like it's hitting me. That fing banging is loud. I know. Sal. Sal. South? Yeah, we're heading south. Hey, we're heading that way. In danger. Who's in danger? Josh and me in danger? Stalker. <laughs> Stalker? Holy shit. We're at, Laura. Is Rocky safe? You can actually talk to me. Oh, it's got cold chills coming out here. Is this your bedroom? Hi, what's your name? Did you speak with me? Holy shit, something just moved. Did you just move that? What'd you move? Laura, we're heading back to the house. You want to give us a message? It's crazy. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Are you okay? What happened to you? Hidden. Hidden. Where are you hidden at? Which year is it? It's 2022. Were you connected to the the mirror that was actually in here? Something's over something's over there in that corner right back there. We got the really bad. Who's over there in the corner? What's your name? Alright, so right over here in this corner back there. Something keeps moving. Seems like I put my back to it. 
So you stay in this corner back here? Yes? Who's the female that's talking right now? What's your name? Were you connected to this mirror that used to be sitting here? You stay in here? Shaw, if I have ticks all over me, you're gonna have to pick them off. Okay, we got Josh back in the house with us. We're gonna ready to start the cleansing. This right here is the area from our last investigation where the mirror was which they have since then taken out of this house. Any spirits that may be inside this house, we come to you tonight to help you cross over and to be at peace. Laura, if you happen to be the spirit that we're communicating with, we want you to go be at peace now. You no longer have to be here. We want you to leave this house in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and we want you to go be at peace. You can no longer affect Josh. You can no longer communicate with Josh, and you must stay away from this house. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you protect us and defend us. We seal this wall that the mirror was once on with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we command all spirits, good and evil, to leave this house, leave this property. It is Jesus has authority over this house now. Definitely want to hit this corner back here. Whatever energy is back in this corner, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We command you in the name of Jesus, leave this basement. We seal this wall with the sign of the cross. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit and fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark places for the spirits to hide. We seal this stairwell with the blood of Jesus Christ. We command you to leave this house in the name of Jesus. Any spirits inside this house, you must leave. It is Jesus who has authority over this house. We cast out all the evil in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this closet. We cleanse this room with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you push all the negative spirits evil entities out of this house. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross. Stop. Not a chance. Not a chance. And you protect this house from this day forward. We banish you in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal this stairwell with the blood of Jesus. We seal this entryway, the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you watch over Josh and his house and keep him safe and at peace. We bear the St. Benedict's medal to protect and guard over this house.